Oh my lord, it's so difficult to get any money. Is anyone able to get any money? <sighs> Selling players is hard, right? So poor. What? What's this on the screen? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Just don't you, don't you, don't you worry about that one. Welcome back to the Savings Birds, which is now the official name, I guess. Uh, your host here, Mr. Senor Sigurdsson, or Are You Crazy, or Frank, or whatever. You can call me whatever you want. We've established this already, so uh, yeah. Um, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at it. I'm looking at it. I mean, I guess there's not much to say. We did indeed buy Mr. Jude Bellingham. Did we get him on a cheap? Did we did we sneak in a cheeky little deal there and got him on a super cheap? Or like, n no, 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 we did not. 105 million total. 94. 95. A lot of it is like installments and then there's a 10 million bonus after God knows how many league matches. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically we were just in a situation where we had so much money randomly and I couldn't really find any, like I wanted to buy like, Milinkovic Savage or someone that could just slot it straight in there like a like a superstar, but no one is interested. Presumably because we're in the bloody Euro Cup, so um so I was like, well, what do I do with all this money? Well, I'll just buy Junior Bellingham then <clears throat> for extortionate amounts. But um it's not the only bit that we did. We also did some actual cheeky business here on transfer deadline day. Eight hundred and fifty thousand for Mr. Kibayos. That is ludicrous that it's so cheap, but uh, since it was transfer day, I, I didn't really want to do it. And I was like, 850,000? Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Also, we had an injury to Rafinha, so I kind of desperately loaned in Mr. Benedeschi. Uh, do we have a, a clause? Nah, we do not. Just, you know, we have options with the loan options. Um, we had some more spaces, so I was like, yeah, do you know what? Just get him in. It doesn't hurt. I mean, just we're rich, right? Even if he doesn't play, it's not the end of the world, but... Um, we also bought Mr. Van de Foot, which is, um, yeah, I just wanted a third keeper so we could uh, do some mentoring and stuff. And I guess, I mean, he's the obvious choice in terms of Wonder Kids, right? Um, and that is, oh, no, no, we also bought the legend, Mr. Kyle Hudlin, the 206 centimeter guard. And um, I'm not quite sure why, but yeah, it'd be fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's immediately back at Solly Hall Moors for, on loan. So uh, and then it says I have to scout him. This is weird with my player. But that is pretty much it. So we actually spent 237 million. And we only brought in 135. That is pretty mental. So I guess some of these transfers were made before I actually was here. So I guess it makes sense. But uh, <sighs> yikes, that is quite the business. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, in terms of the Premier League, we are sixth and we have a game at hand. Well, one. The first two matches, what, what did we win? 5 0 versus Wolves and 2 0 versus Burnley. So, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. But um, today is the real test, I suppose, as you can see here, maybe. We're about to play Liverpool, so jump into that. Ryan, this is the team we have to work with. Like, we have loads of players that are knackered, which is not good, not good for business, because actually our defense is going to be Joe Roden and Nicolas Sula. And even Joe Roden is pretty knackered, so ah, I'm not so hopeful. Other than that, it's Pretty straightforward, I think. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, Emerson, Real, Regulon. Son is out on the right this time because, as I said, Rafinha is out for how long is he out for? Four days to two weeks, so not too bad. But I decided to put Son over there and then Martial on the left. I think those two speeds could uh, pose some problems for for uh, Liverpool. Uh, Almada in behind Kane, and something I'm going to do next match only. I'm going to make him a more supportive. Ooh, as we need a number for Mr. Bellingham. Do we have a fancy one? Uh, oh, 69 is already taken. Uh, let's give him number 80. Why not? Um, now, I could have done all sorts of fancy defensive stuff. It's playing Liverpool, it's terrifying, right? But do you know what? This particular one, I'm going to trust my gut. We're at home. Let's, let's just smash them the way we, we like to play. But um, yeah, we are now off. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. Liverpool are basically OP, but we are also fairly strong. I'm not, I don't know. I don't want to change too much just because it's Liverpool, right? Maybe when it's away we can do something, but Liverpool are just, ah, they're just so annoying, aren't they? <clears throat> they just, like, smash you. Well, I mean, was that a tactical thing? 
Like, he's literally completely open there. Lads. Oh, wait, well, let's keep an eye on him. Mr. Yota. Oh, so it's actually... Oh, no, he's there. Look, look at this. What the... Are you drunk or something? That was... Wow. Okay. Well, good start. Good start. Okay, let's actually get some... Oh, or, I was going to say, let's have some highlights, but... Ah, this is depressing. Come on, Becker. Stop wasting time already. It's, we're 20 minutes in. I mean, you are... Oh, Louise actually saves it. That is... Why? Oh, it's already annoying me, like... Well, Klopp is demanding more and they're 1-0 up. I saw that, so that means they're going to be shit for the next 10 minutes, right? That's how FM works. Encouraged. <sighs> Can we... Apparently we have more of the ball and more pass completion. I mean, <laughs> marginally, but... Can't we, like... And Mane almost scores a header. Uh, are we... Like, what is the... Also, why didn't it fucking change? I literally... Oh, it changed there, but it, it doesn't change. Did you see that? It says he's a shadow striker. And now it's the Liverpool one. Thank you, SI. This is so helpful, this AI, uh, UI thing. Very, very good. Especially how it changes at halftime. Let me show you. Oh, we had a shot. Great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, and everyone is just playing terribly. You've been terrible so far. Right, well, what, what, what do you even do? Anyone, like, I mean, the worst performer is literally Harry Kane. What do you do? About Mr. Harry Kane. Well, he's, he is playing as the advanced forward, which, I don't know, in FM21 at least, the, this complete one just did not work. And I'm kind of banking. Well, apparently we're... I mean... This is going to be the most boring match ever, or what? I mean, you're all just terrible. <laughs> what do you even, but like, what do you do to try and change the match? Hmm. Martial is just... Brian Gill, get in there. Bellingham is not having the best. Hoybia is a little bit knackered, so I'm going to put... Skip. No. Harry Winks. And then make him a bit more of a... Let's try a Masala for him. We have Box to Box and then Masala. I mean, we have to try and do something here. I mean, literally nothing is happening. I'm not cheating you out of any uh, any highlights, but uh, nothing is happening. I mean, do you know what? Dane Scarlet, it's your time to shine. Harry Kane has been terrible. I know Rodon is literally about to die, but we don't have any defenders to put in. So, so we're just going to lose 1-0 like that. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get smashed, I guess. But, what? I mean, I'm far from pleased. How can you feel far from pleased? I mean, I'm glad there was a bit of transfers because, um, I mean, this was just, this was just terrible. What, what am I going to say? I'm even going to store my, I can't be, I can't be bothered with this crap. Wow, what a terrible, terrible match. Uh, even for the viewer as well. I'm sorry. That was just dreadful. Right, well, uh, I'm going to fast forward five days and then we'll play some, some Euro Cup, by the way. Um, yeah, just get to that, and we'll talk more about that. Whew, and we're back for some Euro Cup 2, the most exciting tournament in the whole world, right? And uh, yeah, I guess we can take a look at our group. It has Bodu Glip from Norway, uh, HJK from Helsinki. It's Helsinki Jelka Polo Kuro Kuroki. Okay, that's, yeah, their football club. And Sparta Prague, the home of Mr. Hlosik, of course, but... Uh, I mean, should be doable, right? It almost doesn't matter what group you get put in as either Tottenham or, I guess, Roma is a pretty big team. Anyone else interesting in here? In terms of, like, stature? Basically, Roma and Tottenham are the favorites to win the whole thing, right? Yeah, remember how we were kind of uh, struggling last game because of uh, fatigue? Well, this game we're struggling because half the team is not, half the players are not registered. So that is fun. Uh, our squad is so humongous. There was I couldn't get rid of so many players that yeah, it, it it's a bit of a struggle. Um, I guess we can put just Ali on the bench and so forth. Nah, do you know what? Anywho, I'm gonna tinker with this because I'm gonna change everything. Right. Well, apparently I lied because I'm actually not gonna change the whole lot. I'm gonna put Skip instead of Hoybia. I'm gonna put Doherty and Davies in instead of the fullbacks. Oh, and also Davinson Sanchez, who's now finally well fit. Not that that's a good thing necessarily, but. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to give him some game time as well. I kind of want to get some of the, these players like rolling. Son and Martial have not been mm. overly impressive. Kane has randomly scored five goals. Uh, that was probably versus Wolves or something. But, I mean, you saw him the last game. Or rather, we didn't see him at all. Which is uh, also Colini. I was going to start instead of Lloris, by the way. I didn't. I, I, I'm going to do that in the um, in the Euro Cup. Just get the get the goalkeeper some um, some playing time. Oh, this is actually a very interesting formation they're playing. Four two three one, but narrow. So let's just uh, well, their striker and apparently their main man is literally called Risky. Well, is that Risky then? I mean, he looks very happy. But uh, this should be easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. I don't care if they're the champions of the Finnish league and they have O'Shaughnessy. Johannessy. Johannessy. Yeah. I mean, it's a great name. They also have Tim Sparr, someone that any Dane will recognize because he played for FC Midtjylland for quite a while. But surely, right? Really, nothing is happening other than a corner, but we finally have a highlight. Let's, just, let's see what this brings. Okay, Sanchez. That was actually good defending there. Very important that he actually hit the ball. Martial's a son, yeah. Is it counting? It did... I'm not quite sure about... Oh, it, I think it just counts, because his name's popping up on the thingy, so... Checking decision. Okay, okay, okay. It's a great ball from Martial, let's be real. Boink! And son. I mean, he's nowhere near a side, so... Definitely gonna count. And it did. Oh, Bellingham! Go on, lad! Go on, lad! Drive it forward! He wants it! He wants it! To <laughs> ben Davis was... Very slow to react there, but okay, okay. We somehow managed to keep the ball to Martial. That pass. Oh, no. That, oh, that deserved a goal, I think. And Mata with the... Not <laughs> Martial literally missed an open goal there. Oh, my Lord. Okay, Davis with the free kick. All right. Okay, pretty close. All right, man. I guess we'll praise them because that's the only thing that works when... When we're one 0 up, and we have, he did look like he was being pushed. So um, I think it's 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 fair or whatever. But we're definitely gonna get a penalty here, right? Yeah. Let's see if Kane is like able to actually score. Oh, you notice he has number nine because giving number ten to someone like Kane is death. Let's be real. Ooh, go on, lad. I remember I, that was the, my pet hate in Tottenham, like back in the day, where my favorite, like Christian Eriksen, plays, and he's like the the proper number 10 and then Kane is running around with number 10 hey, look at me it's like no you take number 9 give number 10 to Ericsson that, that's fair sort it out um, yes just say I'm happy actually so we'll probably lose 3-2 now oof Martial just took a bit of a knock but he seems to be recovering quite a well I guess he's not uh, we'll put Brian Gill on actually do you know what let's give Mr. Elliot Anderson a chance that is his preferred position, so... Uh, do you know what? Let's give Clark as well on the right side. Right, well, first highlight of this half, and hopefully it does, as we have a throw-in, and Doherty crosses it. That's a sick little cross. Oh, my God! <gasps> I thought that was going to go in. It was literally Anderson to Clark, the two substitute, substitutinos, whatever, combining. Uh, as we're speaking of substitutions, we're just going to make some more. Winks for, for Skip. Uh, let's just make him a box to box, why not? Anyone else is pretty knackered? Actually, Thiago Mata is knackered a little bit. Put Brian Gill in there, why not? And you know what? Harry Kane, get out. Dane Scarlett, up front, let's go. Come on, just, just someone shoot or something. Anderson, to Bellingham, to Brian, go on then. Oh, yes! Oh, off the post, I joke! <laughs> I mean, holy crap. I mean, even our XG is 3.6. Go on, Scarlet. He's in again? Okay, that was a good block, at least. Good defending there. Clark, go on. How? Oh, you only... Go on, then! Off the top of the bar there from Anderson. Holy macaroni. Our XG is almost 4 at this point, and we're just 2-0 up. Now, admittedly, the, the penalty kind of skews it a little bit, but still... Oh, that was actually... Go on, Brian. Yes, Scarlett. He doesn't miss those. Yes. Third goal of the season as well for him. And he has been playing quite a, uh, quite a bit, like a little bit here and there. So I'm happy for that. Right, praise. Go on. Free kick to... Oof, a 4.3 XG. I mean, yeah. It's probably going the way you would expect it to. Playing Helsinki uh, from Finland, the... 
the the glorious football nation that is Finland. Um, ooh, go on. Oh, ooh. I mean, I was I was rooting for them there. Oh, that's not how you manage. Like, go on, lads. Let's see some. <laughs> oh my lord, Scarlet! Scarlet should have had a hat trick by now. By the way, what on earth? Okay, long last chance before half uh, before I end. Brian with the okay, they do head it clear, but Anderson, Mr. Anderson, is on it like a flash. Go on, Bellingham. Bell is Bellingham playing well? Seven point three. Yeah, I guess it's not bad, but uh, Sanchez all the way back to Golini. Just shoot, mate. Shoot. Like, please tell me that, oh, that ball to Anderson. Go on, cross it in then. A little heel thingy with Jiggy, and then we're not, I mean, what, what is that? What is going on? Just someone please shoot and end this highlight. Ben Davis, go on, cross it in again. Go on then, Scarlet. Oh, no, it's down to Clark. Yes, we'll say it's a plan from Scarlet, missing the header there. And Clark gets his first ever goal for Spurs. Was it his first ever, or just the first of the season, regardless? Let's take a let's take a look at Scarlett's plan. Like he's like, oh yeah, Clark is shouting, let it go, let it go, or whatever you do in, in, in English. And he does. And then Clark is like, Boom. What up, Solar Renek? Oh, wait, what? Well, what did I? Don't mind me. Right, well, 4 0. Not too shabby, is it? I'm very happy with the salt and how you play it. I mean, how can you not be? Uh uh, 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 uh what what is all that? Clicking buttons. All right, so top of the league, league, top of the group so far, and in the league we are now down to ninth. I mean, some of the Chelsea played five matches. What the heck? So is Newcastle. What is up with this planning? Uh, that this is just weird. But um, yeah, still in it, and of course, early days. It's gonna be a very long season, and uh, now we play City, so that's fun. Uh, I'm glad that the, <laughs> the the Euro Cup match snuck in there because playing Liverpool and City on camera. Is like, I think I suffered enough versus the Liverpool one, even though it wasn't that bad. But uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure when we're gonna come back, but gonna come back at some point and uh, show you some more action. We're playing uh, Newcastle soon, fun seats. But um, yeah, we'll be back soon. And uh, thanks for watching and press like and subscribe and all that if you did. And uh, yeah, remember to call me in the comments as well, so I'll definitely answer. But uh, yeah, till next time, ciao.